Greetings and salutations, and welcome to World Anvil's Interactive Maps Interface. Interactive maps are an incredible way to introduce your players or readers to your world setting. They can explore the pins to learn more about your world, and you can even link maps to other maps, creating a full scope of your world setting, from galaxy to world to region to city, and even into a building or a dungeon. In this video, I'm going to get you started with World Anvil's Interactive Maps. You can find the Maps interface on the left-hand menu bar. In the Maps list, you'll be able to edit and view all of your maps. You can create a new interactive map by clicking this button on the right. Upload your map image here. World Anvil is not a mapping software, but I've linked a blog post into the description of this video, which goes through all the different resources and softwares you can use to either find or make your own maps. You must add a title to your map, and you can add a description as well if you want to. By clicking Advanced Options, you can see some more choices. Adding tags to your maps helps you find them quickly. Adding a related location and a related organization article will show your map on these articles on the top right. Adding a related category will show this map on the top right of your chosen category page. The position or weight defines the order that your maps appear in on your world's homepage. To make your map appear at the top, choose a high number or choose a low number to show it at the bottom. You can also choose not to display the map on your world's homepage by unclicking the display checkbox. Guild members can make their maps private or available exclusively to certain people using subscriber group settings. For more on that, check out the access rights section. Once you've got it all set up, click the Create Map button at the top of the interface. There are two main interfaces where you can edit your map, the Edit mode and the Presentation mode. The first screen you'll see when you've created your map is the edit mode. Here you can see and edit all of your markers, marker groups, and map layers. You can also edit the map settings from this interface. But this video will focus on the presentation mode, the easiest place to add a lot of pins to your map quickly. Click the Open Presentation Mode button to get there. In the Maps Presentation mode, you can right-click with your mouse anywhere, and a form will pop up. Add a title, and an optional description to your marker. You can also add any writer's notes or GM secrets you don't want to appear in the public view. Use the drop-down to select what you want your map pin to look like. We have a huge range of pins, including invisible pins which only appear when you mouse over them. Guild members have access to even more pins, and Grand Masters and above can upload their own pin assets in the Creator Studio interface. Once you've chosen your pin, you can select an article to link it to. If you instead choose Create a new article and link it, that article will appear in your to-do list. By selecting a map, you'll link that map into the pin as well. Save your pin, and you're done. If you click on the pin right away, you'll get options to edit your marker, edit the attached article, or edit the attached map, so you can continue working on this concept. If instead you want to see the pin as other people will, refresh your page. Now, when you mouse over the pin, you'll see the text and title pop up. When you click on your pin, the sidebar will appear with your linked article details, your secret information, and the option to jump to the map you've linked to. You can open and close the sidebar by clicking this icon. In the advanced options of the marker form, you can select a marker group. I'll explain more about those in the Advanced Interactive Maps video. You can also check this box to make the map pin private. If you check the Direct Link box, anyone who clicks on the pin will directly load the map you've linked, if you've linked one, or else the article you've linked to the map pin. This is the fastest way to link maps to other maps, which is a great way to help players and readers navigate the full scope of your world building. And by the way, this map is a map from the artist Kaora. You can find more like this by supporting him on Patreon, linked in the description. If you want to learn about more advanced mapping features like marker groups and map layers, then check out our quick guide to advanced interactive maps. It's linked in the description at the bottom and at the top of this video. And if you're looking for more help, check out our documentation, the World Anvil Codex at worldanvil.com forward slash codex. I've linked the Maps Codex article in the description of this video too. Or join our Discord server, worldanvil.com forward slash discord, and ask questions on our help channel. And make sure you check out our YouTube channel, 
That's youtube.com forward slash World Anvil for more World Anvil tutorials and inspiring world building content. Now grab your hammer and go world build.